pirate cake. We're gonna need three cakes. Two are gonna be eight inches wide, and the other one is gonna be a 12 inch. We're gonna glue the cake with buttercream. So I'm going to cover the top of this cake with some white buttercream, but then on top I'm going to be using um, a disc like this and some sticks that I'm going to be placing around this cake so that when we place the other cakes on top, it's not going to be too heavy and it's going to like push the one that is in the bottom to the floor. We're gonna cover it with white fondant and then we're gonna have red stripes going all over and that's gonna give us the pirate touch to the cake. We're going to cover the bottom part of the cake with light blue first and then the waves are gonna be um, dark blue. This is the ocean, so grab your shades of blue and let's play with water. Oi! placing the red stripes all over the top part of the cake. Remember to glue and secure each new element of fondant with water. Add the waves, so take your darkest blue and place it all over the cake in the ocean that we created before with the lightest blue that you had. So we have the top and the bottom part of this cake ready and now we need to create something to put the two things together. For that, I'm going to be making a lace made out of um, yellow and white fondant. This is going to be a puff of color that is going to be really beautiful and at the same time it's going to make the two cakes come together. pirate cake has a beautiful story underneath because this is a gift that I'm going to be giving to little Miguel. He's going to turn four years old and unfortunately when he turned one he was diagnosed with leukemia. But the beautiful thing about the story is that when he's in chemo or when he's in pain, the only thing he wants to play with is Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Um, he loves pirates so I'm sure that with this cake we're gonna be giving him a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. I hope you guys like this beautiful pirate cake and please don't forget to leave me your comments down below and tell me if you like it, what you thought about it and which kind of cake you would like me to do in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you every Friday. Amero, ciao!